What is up, Taurus? Welcome or welcome back to the channel. This is just going to be a short little whatever you need to know whenever this video finds you. Let's go ahead and take a deep breath. And exhale. Sorry, I had a low battery notification. My phone is on 10%. 10 could be significant for you. You could be born on the 10th, okay? Or you could be seeing a lot of 10s, 10, 10. It's also the 10th when I'm filming this, so... Okay, let's see. Something is completing. That's what Spirit's wanting to talk about. You could be 35 or 21 or 38. Okay, but I'm seeing that something is completed. Okay, something is over, something is done. All right, let's see what the cards have to say. For Taurus, we're going to take this one. And we'll take both of them, actually. Wow, yeah, this confirms what I was saying. It says the end of a tough cycle approaches... Your moon sign can be in Capricorn, but it doesn't have to be. I'm also pulling moon in Libra. Again, doesn't have to be. But the end of a tough cycle approaches, Taurus, and a new romantic cycle begins as well. Okay? If, if you're in a current romantic relationship, it looks like it'll be like a new love or a renewal of love. Okay? Or if you're single completely, there's a new romantic cycle beginning. All right? I just see significance around new romance. Okay? And the end of a tough cycle. So let's get some clarity. Spirit is confirming that you're seeing the 10s for good reason. I'm seeing that you're going to see 11 soon. Okay, and then 1s. 11, 11, and then 1, 1, 1. This will let you know that this reading is for you and that you are continuing on the right path. Okay? I'm getting that you could be a chosen one or you could be very like... You could feel very connected to God, very connected to Source. Okay, like you have these gifts. You have these abilities, okay? Like, you're the one who's the generational curse breaker, okay? Wow. Yeah, the end of a tough cycle approaches. I'm getting that Spirit's making something easier for you because I'm getting that you are the generational curse breaker for some of you. But it's just like things have been so tough, have been so hard in, like, all aspects of your life. And you just, you keep putting your head down, you keep pushing forward, you keep going. Yeah. And so Spirit's going to make something easier for you. Or Spirit is making something easier for you. They may be asking you to move or they may be asking you to cut ties with someone or to cut ties with something. But I'm getting that you've already done that or you're about to do that, okay? There's, an, there's a tough cycle coming to a close at work too or with some kind of relationship in general, okay? But I'm getting that something has been hard for you, okay? Maybe your entire life, like your upbringing was not great either, okay? I'm just getting that you're one of the chosen ones. That your ancestors chose you to do this or something like that. Chose you to heal. Chose you to grow. Chose for you to ascend. Okay. What's this new romantic cycle for Taurus? Nope. Wow, the world. Yeah, it's a completely new chapter. It's like a major contract, too. It's a big deal. This new romantic cycle is a big deal for you. It's a big deal for the world. It's a big deal for you generally speaking yeah a new romantic cycle with like actual commitment with somebody who appreciates you with somebody who cherishes you they could be a leo aquarius scorpio or taurus like yourself okay or you're already in a connection with this person and the bond is getting stronger or you're taking things to another level i'm hearing you could be renewing your vows or something like that or vows could be involved in general but i'm just seeing like a renewal of love or a new form of love okay nice let's see what else i can get for you taurus one last card we have healing family issues yeah you could be connected to a leo okay I'm just this card came out for leo as well and it kind of makes sense for some of you i know that you've been dealing with a leo or that you're with a leo and the end of a tough cycle approaches so that a new romantic cycle can begin okay for others of you, it's just looking like you are being guided to heal some kind of family issues. It says your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. Forgive your parents for how they raised you. Forgive your parents for what they did to you. Forgive your parents for their relationships. The more that we hold on to that, the harder it is for us to find real love in our lives because we'll then keep attracting relationships that are just like theirs or relationships that are rooted in some kind of toxic femininity or toxic masculinity because we don't love that part of ourselves if that makes any sense but this healing family issues card keeps coming up and i know that it has to do with some of us still kind of holding resentment when it comes to like a parent figure and then we attract 
men or women who remind us of that parent figure or we attract men or women who have similar characteristics to that figure and it can be very overwhelming and it can be very stressful and it can be very saddening and it's not what spirit wants for you so spirit's just guiding you to heal these family issues to forgive and to choose love and to accept this new romantic cycle that begins okay i'm also seeing like a new contract is coming your way too like you could be getting signed for something or getting a deal or some kind of contract coming in soon and i'm getting that it has to do with work i'm getting you're getting moved up leveled up okay you could be signing your own documents you could be signing something for like your own business your own llc okay but i'm gonna leave it there taurus thank you so much for listening thanks for being here i'm sending you love always take care of yourself i'll see you soon